friends, it's Miss Michelle. I am so glad you're here. We're going to talk a little bit more about ducks. Quack, quack, quack. Look at my big duckling book. That is a big book, isn't it? Look how furry and soft it is. Let's look at just some pictures of ducks. That is a duckling. A duckling is a baby duck. It says whack, whack, whack. And look at the duckling's feet. They are webbed feet. That means they can swim in the water. There's another duckling. That duckling is not the same color as this duckling. This duckling is yellow. This duckling is a different color. It's like a beige and a brown. It's gonna be a different kind of duck. Here's another little duckling. So soft and furry. Are you ready to make a duckling? Or actually, it's a D. D for duck. Here we go. So for this activity, you'll need some yellow paper, some orange paper. I have a template of a D. You might not need the template if you're going to draw right on your yellow paper. You'll only need about two or three little yellow feathers, a pencil, and your scissors. So the first thing I'm going to do, look at that big capital D. I'm going to trace my capital D on my yellow paper. I'm going to hold it in place with one hand and trace around the edge with the other. And then on the inside. And now I'm going to cut it out. Remember friends, when you are cutting, you want your thumb to the sky, stay up, and you have a helper hand and you go open, close, open, close. See how you open and close? You're gonna strengthen those finger muscles so that it gets easier to cut and to draw and color and write. Look, now you have a capital D, capital D. Now I need his head. Take the other part of your yellow paper and draw a circle. You can trace a cup if you find it easier. And again, remember, Thumb in the thumb hole, fingers in the finger. Open, close, open, close, open, close. I wanna strengthen those muscles. Okay, now I have my circle. That's his head. I'm gonna glue it way up here. Now I need his beak. Take your orange paper and it's just a triangle. One. Two, a triangle for his beak, like that. I am not gluing it together yet because I want to make sure it looks just right before I glue. He has two feet, two webbed feet. So a webbed foot kind of looks like this, like three points on his foot. And now it's easier if I just fold it in half and cut it together so that they are exactly the same. Remember, open, close, open, close. Sometimes it's big open or sometimes it's a small open. There we go. And I have two feet. One here and one here. I'm gonna, there's my feet. Now what's, uh oh, his beak moved. Now what's missing? You're right. If I put his feather tail here, now what's missing? I think there's one more thing missing and that's his eyeball. I will draw that on now. I could use a black marker or I could even cut it out of black paper, but I'm just gonna draw it. There, now I'm ready to glue. I have my glue, which also helps strengthen my muscles when I squeeze the glue. I just need a little at the top, just a dot, not a lot. And I need a little dot at the top. And I need just a little line across the beak to put on his head. Let's get his nose in the right spot. There we go. And then just a little right along here like so. Now I need to glue on his tail feathers. 
I'm gonna put some glue right there on the D and stick on his tail feathers. Like so. You did it. You made a duck with a D. D, 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 duck. Well, we just made a D, D, duck. The letter D says duh. I have a few objects here that start with the sound duh. Let's see. Ready? Number one. This goes quack, quack, quack. Of course. It's a, a duck. You're right. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, this one I play with and sometimes I sleep with. Do you know what that is? That is a d doll. Very good. Doll. The beginning sound is d. All right, here we go. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to know what this one is. You're right, it's a dinosaur. D dinosaur. Hmm. I have two of these at home. They go woof, woof, woof. I don't have the real one here, but I do have my stuffed animal one. What is that? A d dog. Excellent. Now, this one's a little tricky. If I only have one, it's called a die. If I have two or more, it's called dice. So I have dice in my hand, or I have a die in my hand. One is a die. Two dice. And the last one, are you ready? Let's see if you can get this one. It went by pretty fast. What do you think that was? Here we go, ready? It's gonna go again. It lives in the ocean. It's a, a dolphin. You got it. Let's go over those D words one more time. We had a, a duck. We had a doll. We had a dog, we had a dinosaur, we had a die, or we had dice, and we had a dolphin. Keep looking for more D words and have some fun.